Praise the Lord. You are watching the Women of Faith show and we're so glad to have you back for yet another episode. Today's episode is going to be exciting. I can't wait to introduce it to you. But I just want to let you know that right now we are live on Manifest Television, which is on Star Times, Free to Air and Go TV. We are also on YouTube. So if you have someone that's going to be interested in this talk show, send them a link and let them tune in. Women at home, I want to tell you that on the 17th of June, we have the Migrate Price Conference with the man of God, Apostle Grace Lubega. It is at the Kololo Independence Grounds and it will be free. So be sure to bring at least one person with you that day. Amen. So my name is Pastor. I am your host for today's exciting, exciting panel. I know many of you at home are going to be interested. So before I introduce the topic of the panel, let me ask my panelists to first introduce yourselves. You are very welcome. We're humbled to have you on the show. And please take a moment to introduce yourself. My name is Brenda Lukwago from Fanero International Ministries. I'm a businesswoman. I enjoy doing business and have quite a number. One of them is interior decor. I am a counselor and enjoying counseling, especially parents, parenting parents. Thank you so much. Yeah. One of them is interior decor. I am a counselor and enjoying counseling, especially parents, parenting parents. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Praise God. My name is Eileen Gozi Harrison. I'm a minister of God and uh, also a minister with um, Fanero Ministry under the counseling department, the marriage counseling department. And uh, I'm also a business woman, a business icon. I do African fabrics, but um, the Nigerian attires and Bitenje, and I, I clothe kings and queens. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Posha. God bless you. Thank you, wow. Mr. Robose. Uh, praise the Lord. My name is Joe Robose. I'm an intentional father of three so Thank far, God. and uh, I serve in Fanero Ministries International. I serve with the branding team. I'm also privileged to lead a couple of businesses. One of them is a graphic design and branding company. Another makes apparel, specifically T-shirts. And I'm very glad to be here on the show. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, Mr. Ravose. Thank you all. Um, ladies and gentlemen at home, I know you're wondering what is today's topic, but today's topic is dating and relationships. We are going to try to discuss and understand what is dating and relationships in the context of the church setting and what does God say about it. Um, so, our dear panel, we live in a generation where dating has been misunderstood, misconstrued, and the world has taken and adopted its own mind of what dating is. We live in a world of, I think it's called Tinder, uh, some other online dating things where it's all about appearance, you know, hobby. It's the thing to do. But is that truly what God's mind is about dating? So I want to ask the first question is, what is your understanding of what dating is? in the context of the church? Mrs. Lukwago. Um, according to church setting, dating is like meeting someone of intentions to go to another, another stage mm -hmm. because you can't just date without having any purpose. Mm -hmm. But with our understanding of dating, we meet a man meeting a woman for courtship and then into marriage. Mm -hmm. And ar along that, you're studying your partner mm -hmm. or you're studying the person you intend to go for marriage. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. You're saying for a purpose. Yes. With a purpose. It's a journey with a purpose, meaning it has an, an, a desired end. Yeah. Mrs. Harrison, what would you say in that line? Yeah, um, to add on to what she has said, um, based on purpose, I'll say. You know, remember what the Bible said when God was speaking to Jeremiah in Jeremiah 1, 5. He said, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. So from the place of God knowing a person, that is a place whereby God has prepared a person for a particular journey. Mm -hmm. I knew you, I ordained you, I called you a prophet. God has called you. And when it comes to now the word dating, mm. as she has said, 
dating because you want to get married. Mm. But we are not just getting married. When we look at Malachi 2.15, the Bible says, God, not man, made marriage. Mm. So am I dating to go into marriage or am um, dating just to play around? So when we now come back to the terms of the church, and how the church, the principles of the church, if you're dating, you're dating because you want to get married. And dating because you want to get married, I found purpose mm. in this woman. So if I found purpose in you, then we start the journey. And mm. see, before you can start a journey, you count the cost of the mm. journey. Meaning it's a place whereby I want to build a house. Mm -hmm. Are you checking what exactly do I need to lay foundation? Mm -hmm. Or if it's, if it's a, a, a double bunk, if it's a bungalow, what do I need? So mm -hmm. before getting to that place, that, that means if it's a young child we are talking about, or if it's a youth, a young lady, what and what is necessary for you to have before getting to that point of how ready are you? Mm -hmm. If I look into also the space of Rebecca coming to a point whereby... Isaac was needed to get to, to be married for. It in as much as it's Abraham that introduced mm -hmm. the space of um, Isaac being, getting, being married. But in, in that space, Rebecca didn't go to look for Isaac, mm -hmm. but she was in the space whereby God positioned her to be found. Mm -hmm. That's in the place whereby... When it comes to dating, before dating, you must have a purpose. What do we mm. want to do? What do we, because it's part of God's plan mm. for you to recreate, for you to, you know, produce and have dominion over mm. everything. Mm. So now when it comes to, I want to date as a, as a believer, what has God called mm. you for? It's mm. a place, first of all, you must know who you are. Mm. If mm. you have not known who you are, then coming to date, you are lost and you cannot carry one lost person leading another lost person. Mm. So first of all, find yourself mm. before dating. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Abose. Yes, wow. please. <laughs> so I think, uh, Pastor Portia, mm. if I was uh, dating a few years back mm. or currently, then I would say dating is when man and woman start shopping together. Mm -hmm. I think <laughs> we've had that joke said before that, you know, when you see man and woman shopping together, mm. then you know they're headed into marriage, mm. you know, especially after they've been introduced mm -hmm. before the church. But for us, well, I think I dated 14 years back. Mm. I've been married 11 years, very happily married. I would say dating is when you start to answer the second most important question that will face us walk the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. And the first one is, concerning the most important decision we will make when we walk the face of the earth, which is to accept the Lord Jesus as Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Then the second most important question or decision you make mm -hmm. is who you marry, mm -hmm. who you're going to walk this Again, journey on, mm -hmm. on, on earth with. Sure. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, in my description, dating would be when you start answering that question. Mm -hmm. Who mm -hmm. are you going to walk this exactly. life journey with? Mm -hmm. Who have you made up? your mind to walk this journey with. Mm -hmm. that, that would be my answer. That oh, would wow. be my answer concerning mm -hmm. dating. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. and, and what I'm hearing from this is, you know, dating is a journey with a purpose. Yeah. It's, you know, two people coming together, like you say, to reconcile and to begin to answer questions, questions. about where do your two destinies align and look to go in the future. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we know today dating has a very different context in the world mm -hmm. because um, you raised a very good point of, know first who, who you, you are, are. Mm -hmm. and who God has called, called you, you to mm -hmm. be. Mm -hmm. So that brings me to the question of, okay, you know, dating is for a purpose. Mm -hmm. When should we date mm -hmm. is the next question. Mrs. Lukago, what do you say to that, please? I think that question is important. But before you get to that question, you need to ask yourself, how is your relationship with God? Mm -hmm. Because the whole point is, as we are talking as Christians, our God is our everything. Mm. He's the beginning of everything, regardless of what we want to do. Mm. Whenever you ask yourself, I want to get married or I want to date, you have to go back. Mm. How is my God towards this? Mm. So the whole point is, before you date, first date your God. Mm -hmm. Fall in love with him. Mm -hmm. The more you fall in love, 
um, he will help you to answer that question. Mm -hmm. When you should date? Mm -hmm. Who should date? Mm -hmm. What are your expectations in dating? So many answers are, uh, so many questions are, are being answered in that. And our generation, they mix dating and maybe courtship. Mm. And you find that a girl would say, I thought we are dating. I thought he's mm. taking me somewhere. Mm. But the, I keep on telling the young ladies mm. that before you think of dating, mm. go to your father, ask yourself, am I ready? Mm -hmm. Am I ready for dating? Am I ready, not even dating, am I ready for marriage? Mm. Because with God, I usually t say that our father is a business person. Mm -hmm. Whatever he brings us, our side, he's expecting something mm. from you. So if you're getting married because you're thinking he's getting married, is it going to end on marriage? Mm. There is a full purpose to that. Mm. And if you've not found a purpose yourself within you, you won't be able to fulfill the partner's purpose. For example, a woman. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that we are suitable helpers. Mm to our husbands. But before you become a suitable helper, do you know who you are? Mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in Genesis, mm -hmm. Eve was called a suitable helper mm -hmm. to Adam, and it's Adam who called her suitable helper. Mm -hmm. But when we get into the New Testament, our suitable helper is the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So the Holy Spirit will guide us mm -hmm. on who to date, mm -hmm. when to date, from what time, mm. you know, all that story. Mm. And I believe that helped me in my time of dating mm. because my time, my point was not to focus on marriage. I began praying for my husband, asking God who my husband is. Mm. And I started praying for his purpose mm. because I knew my work is to fulfill mm -hmm. His purpose, mm. because that is God's business. Mm. Because minus getting children, then what? Mm -hmm. The worldly people have gotten children, then yeah. what? Mm -hmm. But we are sure. created or we are called to minister. Mm -hmm. So from that point, it gave, it gave me a guideline, like the way Apostle preached a certain sermon of seven guiding lights. And those guiding lights are very, very key. Mm -hmm. But it cannot find someone who has not fallen in love with God, mm. you must fall in love. Mm -hmm. The more you do it, the more he'll take you. Your, mm. your focus is not to date. Mm. Now I'm 23, I need to date. Mm -hmm. I'm 30, I need to date. Why are you dating? Mm. That is the question. Mm -hmm. But after answering all that in line with falling in love with God, the puzzle where I came from somewhere, mm -hmm. or oh, uh, he, he has someone, mm -hmm. and the Bible says that a man Whoever, um, a, a man will find that verse where he says, he who finds a wife, mm -hmm. finds a good thing and obtains favor. Mm -hmm. And what I need to tell young people, or everyone, however much you're 70, you're 25, you're 13, mm -hmm. the point is when a man is out there looking for a wife, mm -hmm. he's looking for a wife, not a woman. Mm -hmm. Meaning he's looking for that inner beauty. Mm -hmm. And that inner beauty is only God mm -hmm. who will give you that inner beauty. Correct. You could be white, you could mm -hmm. be dark, you could be white, but that does not, that is a physical look, mm -hmm. which will not bring in the help, the help he's looking for. Mm -hmm. So that's why girls keep on saying, I thought it was leading to marriage. Mm -hmm. I thought it was leading, but, mm -hmm. and this guy, he's not mentioning anything. Mm -hmm. And you're like, two years, you're with a guy and he's not mentioning anything. Mm -hmm. It is because mm -hmm. he's watching out. For you, you might think he's dating you, but he's also mm -hmm. dating someone on the side because he's looking for a wife. Mm -hmm. And when he finds a wife, mm -hmm. that's a wife, he will say that, you know, this is the wife. Mm -hmm. So women, we need to position ourselves mm -hmm. in a sense that the Holy Spirit will help us. Mm -hmm. Galatians 5 verse 22 talks about the qualities mm -hmm. of um, the, the, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And they are around seven, eight, mm -hmm. nine, and they are not easy. There is patience, there is love, there is mercy if we are to cultivate each and everything mm. as the Holy Spirit leads us. Mm. This guy will find you patient. Mm. This guy will find you merciful. This mm. guy will find you good. Mm. And from that point, he will say, I think that's what I need to go for. Mm. 
because of that inner beauty that is coming out of you. Mm. And that will position you. But majority of us are like, I want to get married. Mm. I want to get married. And you lose all your focus. Mm. That's a really important point that you've said. You know, there is such a rush. Mm. And even culturally, culturally, you know, there is such a pressure. Mm. When are you getting married? You know, you've finished university. Uh -huh. Now next, move on to the next thing. When are you getting married? But as you've rightly put, first and foremost, the primary place is to first fall in love with God. The Bible says that your husband is your maker. The Lord mm. of hosts is his name. Mm. Understand that before you get married to a man, you have this God that's jealous over you and mm. has a plan and a, person, a mm. plan and a purpose Oops. for you. Mm. So as you've said, look at that and find out what is my plan and purpose. Because yeah. from there, it starts to align the dating and the marriage mm. destiny. Um, mm. Yes, Mrs. Harrison, what would you say about... Yeah, let me hold on to what you're saying mm. um, in regards to 2911 mm. of um, Jeremiah Steele. Um, I know the plan I have for you. For somebody to know a plan for an architect, you, that means it's a place where you come. Mm. That's a place where you're talking about the relationship thing that you have to fall in love with God. Mm. And by the time you have come to understand a plan, you don't know what this um, is going to come out to be like, mm. but you need a porter for mm -hmm. an understanding. And mm. there is something big bigger than what you're seeing out there. That means the usage mm. of that, whatever is being molded. So it's the place whereby you get to the porter, mm -hmm. first of all, let him mold you, whether as a female, because we are all coming from different mm. backgrounds. You're a man, I'm a woman. You're coming from different family, different family, different mm -hmm. ethnic groups, different culture. Mm. So coming from different culture, there is something that is inside of you that probably don't meet with mine. So at the point whereby I get to the relationship, first mm. of all, with my maker, falling in love with him, mm. let him now mold you the way mm. he wants to mold you, getting you ready. So in the question you ask, I look mm. at it in the place, get to the place of preparation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After you have known God, God begin to prepare mm -hmm. you for that very man or for that mm. very woman. Because in a place whereby people usually have these issues after marriage mm. is because while in the dating process, they see one or two things that they should have worked on but never worked on. They put it aside mm. and they went ahead into marriage. And later on, they have a conflict. Mm. But before getting to that place, once you know your God, first of all, have a good relationship. Mm -hmm. That's the place where she, Mrs. Mukwago was talking about falling in love. Mm. So get your relationship. I remember mm. some years ago when um, uh, I think I, I never wanted to marry again, you know, um, because um, I had the, the issue, you know, in court mm. that like, no, I, I don't think marriage is it's for me because mm. I don't want to pass this journey again until I know who I am, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what God expects from me. Mm. And in there, when I embrace, first of all, God, I pour out myself to God mm. and say, God, I am ready. Mm. Whatever you want me to do, I want to serve. Mm. So it's a, it came from the place of, let me serve God and mm -hmm. not all these other things, you know. When you say, seek first the kingdom uh -huh. of God and his righteousness, then every other thing. So when it came to dating, I think dating just it also came to me. Mm -hmm. So it just came willingly mm -hmm. on its own mm -hmm. because I was in this place. God positioned me in the place of service. Mm -hmm. So as I was serving God, my whole heart, everything was on him. And he said to me first, he said, I will marry you. Mm -hmm. When I marry you, I will hand you over mm -hmm. and it's a place whereby before before your god or your husband mm -hmm. hand you over to a man on earth that's the place whereby he has pruned you he has mm -hmm. taught you he has showed you the path and say this is the way to go because you have never been on that journey mm -hmm. it's a new journey that you and i don't mm -hmm. know but he has the plan he has mm -hmm. the purpose so for you to walk and get it right mm -hmm. you have to get back to him mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you don't know anything about that journey. Mm -hmm. You don't in as much as people say, I want to date to know you. 
I can't really know everything about you. <laughs> there are some things that you really hide that you don't bring out till uh -huh. after wedding because mm -hmm. I want to have you. Mm -hmm. So in order to have mm -hmm. everything about you, mm -hmm. he's not going to tell you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely. Mm -hmm. He's not going to show you everything. There are some things he will hide. But who will show you is the Holy uh -huh. Spirit. So it's a place whereby you are True. communing with God, mm -hmm. with the Holy Spirit. He even reveals to, things to you. I remember there's some certain things that happened and I saw things and I, I had to ask my man and I asked him, I said, that, 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 that was, I said, how did you know what's happening? Um, what, I said, don't ask me having a relationship with God. Mm. This is what mm. the Lord has said. Mm. Did you do this? What's happening? What mm. are you not telling me? Mm -hmm. You know, there are some things when you're relating, when you have this sweet relationship with your father, mm. because he knows you first. Mm -hmm. So that in that place, when you have that relationship with him, that falling in love, as Mrs. Lukwagwa mm -hmm. said, you stay in the place of love. He will show you mm -hmm. all you need to know mm -hmm. and how you need to walk in that very part mm -hmm. that you will not fall. Even when mm -hmm. the trials and temptation comes inside that courtship or whatever, mm -hmm. or, or, or dating, Mm. He will give you ideas, give you wisdom mm -hmm. on how to go about everything. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. in, in it, to, to, to conclude, um, mm. uh, is to agree with Pastor Portia, the plan and the purpose of mm. God for you. It's unique. Mm -hmm. So for you to get into the dating is, first of all, what do you know about the plan? Say, come. Say, I want to let us reason together. God mm -hmm. say, let's reason together. Even including your dating. Mm -hmm. For you to date, God wants to reason mm -hmm. with you. So he wants to let you know mm -hmm. that this is what I expect from you. This is mm -hmm. what you're going to meet with this man. And this mm -hmm. is what, as an help as suitable, as mm -hmm. a woman, this is what and what mm -hmm. that is expected mm -hmm. of you. Mm -hmm. Because if you're coming as a help as suitable, mm -hmm. you know, then that means, uh, 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 if I'm to help you, I will know whether to hold your left mm. hand or to load your right mm. hand. I will know whether to give you, mm -hmm. if it's idea you need, in the business that you're going mm. to do. Because you might say that, okay, I I, I studied this, these days to get mm -hmm. the, the apparel or the, the clothing line, you know, mm. fixed. But this woman, there's something mm. that God is fixing during the time of porting and the mm -hmm. time of making that she he puts inside of her that will mm. help you so That's in that true. place yeah. you get that understanding mm -hmm. and it moves from glory Amen. To glory. Amen. 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 And that's Amen. really, really important for ladies and gentlemen back home. I know culturally there is such a pressure that you must move into dating. But when you understand that dating has a purpose and it is one of those tools God uses mm. to align, align you mm. to your spouse. Why? For your purpose. Purpose. So firstly, I love, like you said, I know you've labored on it, fall in love with God first. first. Understand who you, who you are. are. Mm -hmm. Because there's another place where culture has said that if you're not dating or you're not married, you're mm -hmm. as if incomplete. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mr. Rabose, in the last two, three minutes, what would you say in that line? I think I would, I would love to speak especially, I know there are some young men and mm -hmm. some older men watching. And when uh, Mrs. Harrison pointed out that even in that dating, you may not learn everything mm -hmm. about the lady. True. Yeah, they must have been wide-eyed, mm. opened. <laughs> but I would love to say that Mark 12, mm. 31, mm. Uh, the Bible tells us that these commandments, mm -hmm. there is no greater commandments than these two. Mm. The one to love mm. the one true God, mm -hmm. and then love your neighbors, you love yourself. Mm. Yeah. The part I pick from that, which speaks to the ladies watching, the women watching, but also the gentlemen mm. watching, mm. that you must love yourself first, mm -hmm. which yes. goes to um, after you understand mm -hmm. God's plan for your life, mm -hmm. God's purpose within your life, yeah. whether it's the lady or the gentleman. Mm -hmm. Then what comes next is mm -hmm. understand your identity. Mm -hmm. exactly. Understand why God has chosen you to live out that vision mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you as the young man who's watching are going to use to reach out and find the wife, mm -hmm. the wife that has been uh, mm -hmm. explicitly mm -hmm. yes. described. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, that's how, you know, I would highlight mm -hmm. it. And no, no lady, no gentleman is incomplete mm -hmm. because you're not married. Mm -hmm. uh, my personal example, mm -hmm. just quickly, mm -hmm. those many years ago, mm -hmm. I set out and said I would not get married or get into a relationship for four years because I wanted to, I'd just given my life to mm -hmm. Christ, I think a year prior to that. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to grow deeper, what you've been describing, mm -hmm. in my relationship with God. Mm -hmm. 
and I wanted to also grow my business. Mm -hmm. So I set it out mm -hmm. that four years, I was not ready for marriage. Mm -hmm. God flipped things around, but still, mm -hmm. I'd love to amplify that for mm -hmm. the gentleman out there, mm -hmm. yeah. the lady who may have pressure from mm -hmm. family or culture, mm -hmm. you're not incomplete. Mm -hmm. You're not incomplete. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's really important because the Bible says we are complete, complete in him. him. That's right. Who is the head? Mm -hmm. When you understand that, you know, you are complete in God first. You're not looking for a man mm -hmm. to satisfy, you know, desires, uh, value, or to say that you are whole. No, first understand that you are complete in God. And when He has defined your beauty, your purpose, you know, who you are, mm. then out of dating, you know, it, it, like He said, it's that place where your destiny starts to. Aligned, aligned to the next place mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. God is bringing two of you together to fulfill a purpose. purpose. But mm -hmm. um, we're going to go for a brief break. We will be back. We're going to go deeper. I know this topic has got a lot of people staring at home. So <laughs> stay tuned. Don't go far. Get a cup of tea. If you have a friend that's going to be blessed by this conversation, send them that link now so that they don't miss out. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. We'll be back. <laughs> Ask. Are there any good men out there? Well, of course. On Mars? On Pluto? But seriously, how do you date a girl for a year and then propose to me? She could be turned around. Well, sweetheart, the good thing is that I have my money, my own house. The only thing I need is a child. Exactly. Why have a man to rule over you? I hear my submission. When you can put on pants and run your own house. Well, girlfriend, to help you run your life, we <laughs> do not need men. Yes, we do. We do need men. There is a reason why God created both male and female. We and definitely we need each other. <laughs> Let me tell you, whatever the world tells you, do not be conformed, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. That's a Nelson Mandela quote, right? No, it's Romans 12. By the way, submission is strength. It's not a weakness. Okay. This is a new breed of women transformed by grace. My Great Price Conference Season 5, 17th June 2023 at the Kololo Independence Grounds. Invite 10 women. Venero, make manifest. It's not about a place that has all the luxury. It's about a place where you can create memories. It's about a place where you can blend your work with a holiday. It's not about having the most luxurious rooms. It's about having a sense of space. It's not about the best chefs. It's about cuisine that transforms your mood. You love catching up with friends, and we are all about enjoying those special moments. At the Skies Hotel, we have set the stage for unforgettable moments, so that when you leave, you will have a special story to tell. Praise God. Welcome back. You are watching the Women of Faith show and we were, you've joined us as we've been talking about dating. Um, but before we go back to our panel, I want to remind you that on the 17th of June, we have the Migrate Price Conference. So women, God is doing something in women in this dispensation. And I want to invite you personally, come on the 17th of June to Kololo Independence Grounds. You don't want to miss it. Um, but right now, we had just left off a conversation on 
when should we date? But I think, you know, leading on from that question, it's maybe how do I know that I'm ready to date someone? Um, starting from the side of the gentleman, because we know that men seek. So what would you say to a man at home or a young man? When, how does he know that he's ready to date? Thank you, Pastor Porsche. And as I speak to the gentlemen out there, I would love to highlight, and uh, let's move away from the misconception. People speak about how, as you grow as a man, the moment you have beards, <laughs> target, <laughs> target to have, uh, marry that one wife, mm -hmm. uh, have the two children, get the three-bedroomed house, mm -hmm. and a uh, four-wheel drive car, mm -hmm. you know, as, long, as soon as you have beards. Yeah. But I mean, I have many friends who don't have beards and they are happily married. <laughs> but it's not about how you've grown genetically. Mm. And neither, there, there's a common misconception going around mm. that you must have certain material things mm. first before you're ready to go and mm. inform someone that you'd like to marry their daughter. Mm. Mm. What I believe is that, one, find your vision. Mm. After what we discussed earlier on, mm. your place with God, God's mm. plan mm. and purpose for you, mm. What's your vision, mm -hmm. regardless of? Mm -hmm. Some people may not believe it, mm -hmm. but have your vision and believe in it. Mm -hmm. I'll use my personal example. By the time I met uh, this wonderful uh, lady, mm -hmm. Akik, and I was intending to get married, I'd left a very high-paying job, mm -hmm. so there were some concerns, and the rel her relatives kept asking, mm -hmm. what does he do? Mm -hmm. And truth be told, at that point in time, I was just starting an apparel business, mm -hmm. making T-shirts. Mm -hmm. which 12, 13 years ago was not a very mm -hmm. uh, prominent thing that you would mention before mm -hmm. elders or future in-laws. Mm -hmm. But I was so distinct in my vision and what I was going to do. Mm -hmm. That's what I would, I would want to highlight first, that it's important. Mm -hmm. Then, if I may read just quickly, mm -hmm. again, for the gentlemen out there, mm -hmm. Proverbs 24, verse 27. Mm -hmm. It says, put first things first. Mm -hmm. Prepare your work outside, Mm -hmm. and get, re get it ready for yourself in the field. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, build your house and establish a home. That, to me, means there are things that come first. Even when you look at the narration of Adam in Genesis, mm -hmm. God gave him purpose. Mm -hmm. God gave him a garden mm -hmm. to work mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God gave him responsibility when he was naming the animals. Mm -hmm. And the helper came to help a vision, mm -hmm. help came to help a purpose. Mm -hmm. So for the young men out there, you should be asking yourself, this lady I want to marry and bring in as a helper suitable, what is she going to help? Mm -hmm. What is she going to help? Mm -hmm. That's what I would love to highlight. Wow, yeah. wow. And in that line now, I want to come to the women. Mm -hmm. you, as we've seen, men first get that vision, understand and put first things first, rightly as you've said. Now, a man comes to a woman, how does she know that she's ready to respond or that it's time for her to, to date? Mrs. Lukwago. As we said earlier on mm. about falling in love with God, mm. it still helps you when to know what to do and who to go out with. Mm. And around that time, I always encourage young people mm. to have accountable partners. Mm. For example, like Ruth and Naomi. Mm -hmm. Ruth found Naomi. And along the way, according to her, she was not thinking that she was going to get married to Boaz. Mm. But because of Naomi being in her life, mm. she started serving God. Mm -hmm. She started moving with Naomi. Mm -hmm. And along the way, that's when she met a partner. Mm -hmm. And when Boaz said anything to her, she still went back. Mm. We remember there is a certain sermon our papa preached mm -hmm. about the seven guiding lights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those lights also help you mm -hmm. because there is inward witness mm -hmm. about voice of counsel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are so many, there are seven of them, mm -hmm. peace. Mm -hmm. And we need to follow all that. Mm -hmm. But most cases, we always think because of maybe the age, mm -hmm. the society, uh, peer pressure, mm -hmm. they keep on asking you, are you, when are you getting married? Mm. When are you getting married? When are you dating? Because mm. in African tradition, mm. we, we don't really think about dating. We still ask about marriage. Mm. But right now, 
for us, we want to like begin dating. And dating keeps on dating, keeps on going. You date three, four, five. And what is the benefit out of that? But the more you have accountability partners, mm -hmm. and maybe another question I would give, there is a verse where it says, older women mm -hmm. help the young ones. Yes. We need yeah. to avail ourselves to the young generation. Mm -hmm. Because you could find someone who is 23, the guys are pursuing her, mm -hmm. but maybe she doesn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. And another side, there is peer pressure, and mm -hmm. she has no one to talk to. Mm -hmm. But if we avail ourselves not from a point of judging, mm. but be available to counsel them, mm -hmm. be available to talk to them, be available to be a friend. Mm. For example, I have someone who came to me, she's around 20, and she talked of dating. I asked her, are you ready for marriage? Then she asked me, no, I just want to date. Mm -hmm. Then I was showing her the purpose into mm -hmm. dating, where it is going to lead her. And she was like, okay, I think I understand. Mm. So we talked about it, and then she realized that she needed to focus on more important things, mm -hmm. which is God first, mm -hmm. learning, understanding, and everything. And at the end of the day, she was able to understand. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to be there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to be there for each other, True. as the Bible says. Be there, be a brother's keeper. Mm -hmm. And if you are a brother's keeper, we shall help the church. Mm. Because in church, many are there. Mm. They are suffering. The bodies are burning. Mm. They are asking themselves, what should we do? Mm. So if we don't judge them and we just come out to help them, mm -hmm. I think that will help. Mm -hmm. Yes. I love that what you've brought out there. Accountability partners have, you know, in the multitude of counselors, mm. there is safety. Mm -hmm. um, obviously dating, because it's leading to marriage, it has its own journey. But mm -hmm. in the multitude of counselors, you find safety. People that have gone ahead of you, older women mm -hmm. help younger women. But also as, as younger women and younger men, if you don't have someone that has come to you, pray for someone. Ask mm -hmm. God for that person to speak into your life that if I've, you know, as a gentleman, if you've seen a woman, can I submit it to a man that's married? You know, if... Um, if you have, thank God in our day, we have spiritual authorities mm. that guide you, you know, you mm. submit these things. But also as women, if a man is pursuing you, like he said, mm. she, uh, Ruth took it back to Naomi all the time, mm. um, you know, for accountability, because in there, there is safety. Correct. Um, Mrs. Harrison, what do you say? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I agree to what um, Mr. Lukwago said about um, um, having somebody you're accountable to. I think also the church in this um, generation should also have um, a space of opening up. I think what Fanero, what Fanero is doing with the Golden Mothers to open space because mm -hmm. if you if if you hear most of the young ladies out mm -hmm. there, many are stabbed, many went into a wrong relationship, and um, or in the in the name of dating, mm -hmm. I'm dating, you know, and. Um, they need uh, these women to be accountable too. Mm. And sometimes uh, I find, um, like of recent, somebody told me she didn't know that um, I'm approachable because many women in Fanero are not approachable, mm. you know, and it, um, it was embarrassing for mm. me. Like, I don't think so, you're mm. not right, you know. Mm. So I think mothers should open up mm. themselves whether the girl is yours or not mm. yours, open up. There are a lot of things they have stored in their heart mm. because of this thing we call dating mm. and, um, and uh, how, how, how bad it has affected their mm. mind. And this is the place they call back now for parents mm. and for, for mothers out there and fathers out there. Mm. When you see these young ones, mm. have words, you know, to mm -hmm. speak to them, mm. you know, um, um, consigning whether it's dating, what's your life like, what's mm. your service like. But mm. my, own, my own stand still is getting too engaged with God. Mm. Because when you're too engaged with mm. God, when the time comes, mm. you don't fall apart when mm. the time comes you're already aligned and mm -hmm. prepared for whatever journey mm. you are to take so being accountable get open up open up mothers um, fathers wherever you are aunties 
open up your space, your doors to these people. Don't say you're mm. probably too spiritual and I don't want them to interfere mm. with my space. Please open up. Mm. These people need you mm. because you can't keep and store what mm. you have. I used to tell people that God has put something inside of you. Whenever you don't bring it out, it gets rotten in the air because mm -hmm. it's not it's it's not um, 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 coming out for its real use. Mm -hmm. So there's a young girl out there that is suffering in the mind because most of these things, when the heartbreak mm -hmm. comes, it, it's not just the heart, it's the mm -hmm. mind. Then their mind starts working in a particular sphere mm -hmm. and feeling that this is their life or mm -hmm. life is, is done with them. Mm -hmm. So by the time those that... Um, we're looking at what Mr. Lukwago said, being accountable, you know, also, these people want to be accountable, but to who? Mm. Who is mm. also opening up to them? Mm -hmm. Who mm -hmm. wants to receive them? Mm. You know, mm. Naomi was able, you mm. know, because Ruth persisted. Mm. Ruth said, I will <laughs> serve your God. It wasn't Naomi mm. that called her and said, follow me. Mm. But Ruth said, I want to serve your God. Mm. I want mm. to follow you. But there's the place whereby Ruth found Naomi. Mm. receptive enough mm. and she because she has understood in as much mm. as she didn't know their God she mm. wasn't serving their God but she has seen this God of possibility mm -hmm. in, in mm -hmm. as much as this woman has lost children mm. she has lost her son mm. so it's as if nothing good is coming out mm -hmm. from there but this place where the woman others were seeing nothing good is coming out of Naomi she's coming back with bitterness with sorrow mm. Ruth saw something else you understand? But mm. it's a place whereby also this woman, God had a plan. Mm. Mm -hmm. And she was aligned in that plan mm. because there was somebody, the woman that God mm. has positioned mm. and mm. she interlocked with mm. that woman. So it cost her that when they even moved back mm. to their hometown of Naomi, mm. it was easy for things to work, you know, for, for Ruth. Mm. For, 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 for her to meet with Boaz. Mm. By the time she met with Boaz, she never had the mind of, I want mm. to marry or I want to court. Mm. But it was still Naomi that was projecting words, mm. telling her what to do. Mm. Lay here. You go and take the bellies. Mm. She was in giving instructions. So where are the women mm. to give instructions? Mm. So this mm. period, let every woman mm. come out. Amen. Whether she's your daughter, she's not your daughter. Come out and give instructions to these amen, ladies. Amen, amen. Pastor Portia, wow, that's beautiful. Thank amen, you. Thank amen. you, Mrs. Harrison. Amen. Allow me to say something concerning accountability, mm. what Mrs. Lukwago has really highlighted, mm. and the aspect you started with of how does one know mm -hmm. they are ready mm -hmm. for marriage? And for me, this addresses both uh, the ladies watching mm -hmm. and also the gentlemen watching. Mm. One part and... We thank God for our Father and man of God, Apostle Grace. Mm. He highlighted for me a part that a man finds a wife, mm. not a woman. Mm -hmm. At one point, Adam saw his spouse as a woman. At another point, he saw her as a wife and gave her a name, Eve. Mm. So I would ask the young ladies, if you believe you're ready for marriage, mm. are you a wife? Mm -hmm. Do you believe you're a wife? Mm. And our Father has given us examples. Mm. If you believe you're a wife, for someone to find, mm. then do things that a wife does. Mm. Yeah? Mm. The people you, you, you associate with, the people mm. you move with, mm. the way you carry yourself. Mm. Rebecca veiled herself mm. the moment she asked Abraham's servant, mm. who's the man approaching? Mm. And they told her, that's mm. the master. Mm. Immediately the Bible says she veiled herself. Mm. So there is a veiling that happens mm. when you believe your wife mm. who's being sought out. Mm. And again, I'll give a personal example. Mm -hmm. When I met my wife, she was in her final year at the university. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I said, speaking with her, we're, we're becoming friends. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked. After our first phone call, mm -hmm. I tried to call her. I think I called her past 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. And she refused to pick. Mm -hmm. And the next day she informed me, I don't take calls mm -hmm. past 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Basically, there are things that she did that really showed me mm -hmm. that this is a wife. Mm -hmm. To the extent that and when you speak of godly counsel on the, on the level of accountability, mm -hmm. I, I recall, and I'll switch a bit to the guys first. Mm -hmm. Three months after, after knowing my, my girlfriend then, mm -hmm. I decided to propose, or what you would call courtship, or what some may call dating, mm -hmm. and I prepared myself. I drove to her university, mm -hmm. and uh, I shared with her mm -hmm. 
mm. how I felt. And that's the part many men out there, you have to step up and mature too. Mm. You can't be friends mm. with a young lady mm. for six for months, someone. for one year, no. for two years, mm. without sharing where, where is this where going, going? Mm. you know? So after three months, I felt that I need to step up mm. and share with this young lady that, hey, listen, this is where I see this going. Mm. You know, mm. this is where I see this going. Mm. So after I make my grand speech, she listens, mm -hmm. and uh, she clearly tells me, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> no explanation, uh -huh. just no. Mm -hmm. So I remember driving my car all the way from Mukono back to Kampala <laughs> in shock. I thought after three months, you know, this is going somewhere. Mm -hmm. But I reflected back on where we started. Mm -hmm. You remember I had made a firm decision mm -hmm. that I'm not getting into a serious relationship for four years, and this was year one. Mm -hmm. And I'd had a conversation with God mm -hmm. that the lady that I speak to is not one who's going to simply say, yes, let's get married, mm -hmm. you know? But this has to be purpose bound. Mm -hmm. That's why I was giving it some time, because I thought that's when I would be ready. So when this girlfriend of mine tells me no, at first I'm in shock, but as I drive back, mm -hmm. I realize, okay, you know what? Now I have to mm -hmm. pursue, but I also have to respect Mm -hmm. the decision she has made. Mm -hmm. And also, what happened behind the scenes is that she called a friend who was married, mm -hmm. who had met me mm -hmm. before, and inquired of her. Mm -hmm. But also, secondly, she gave me two weeks. Within those two weeks, she wanted to observe whether my countenance towards her would change, mm -hmm. the way I'd been treating her. Mm -hmm. And thankfully, mm -hmm. I treated her exactly <laughs> the same. <laughs> I was there for her. Mm -hmm. I was helping her with her co final coursework. Mm -hmm. And after two weeks, mm -hmm. lo and behold, mm -hmm. we had a conversation and she actually accepted my proposal. Mm -hmm. wow. And one thing led to another. Mm -hmm. So for me, that is so profound mm -hmm. on that level. Mm -hmm. And then allow me just to touch something again on accountability. Mm -hmm. As we're dating, mm -hmm. what we now know is courtship. Mm -hmm. As we're dating, because we knew as much as we are Christians, mm -hmm. yeah, we are, we are moving in the flesh, <laughs> <laughs> the bodies. <laughs> So mm -hmm. on the level of accountability, at our wedding mm. 11 years ago, we had a gentleman in a jacket mm -hmm. uh, in the hotel uh, ballroom where our wedding was, and everyone was shocked. Mm. Who is this? Because no one knew him. Mm. Family didn't know him. Friends did not know him. Mm -hmm. But that gentleman, Chris, mm -hmm. happened to be a border border rider. You know, for those watching from England and mm -hmm. America, border border is, you know, our motorcycles. Mm -hmm. And why he was at our wedding that had very few guests because it was at our hotel was because he was one of our best accountability partners when we were wow. dating. Wow. How? Wow. I used to go visit her apartment during the day. Mm -hmm. And the first thing we would do is make sure her neighbors knew that I'm around. Mm -hmm. That was one. Mm -hmm. Number two, I'd let go of the car that I was using. Mm -hmm. And this gentleman would call him and tell him, Chris, as long as it hits this time, mm -hmm. show up and don't leave unless you're living with me, mm -hmm. you know? So oh, yeah. as we dated, mm -hmm. Chris was a very powerful accountability partner in different yeah. situations, mm -hmm. you know? He made sure that I leave her place mm -hmm. on time mm -hmm. with no funny business. Mm -hmm. So uh, that to me expounds mm -hmm. the level of accountability that's mm -hmm. needed mm -hmm. and how some young ladies out there can understand that mm -hmm. if you believe you're ready for marriage, mm -hmm. Check yourself and ask yourself, mm -hmm. are you a wife? Mm -hmm. Are you doing what a wife? Because wives are failed before mm -hmm. they are found. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's the true. Mm -hmm. I love that story, actually. Mm -hmm. That's wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. Boda Boda guys actually being able to help and keep uh, you mm -hmm. accountable. Mm -hmm. um, and you've brought us to that space of boundaries. Mm -hmm. You know, you've said men marry value. Mm -hmm. Woman, you're a woman of value. value. Mm -hmm. Value is something you protect, mm. something you look after. Mm. It's mm. something, you know, when you understand what God has put on the inside of you, you, you know, you don't throw pearls. You know, the Bible says you don't throw pearls to swine, but neither would you see someone throwing diamonds to the ground. No, no it's something you cater for, you, you clean, clean, you make sure it's kept well. Mm. Now, come into that place of boundaries because for a long time there's been a lot of law, like don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, but we know we live in the flesh. Yeah. Um, you've brought up that place of have no confidence mm. in the in flesh. flesh. Mm. Like don't be so, so, you know, separate from your flesh that mm. you're like, ah, no me, I'm fine. Nothing can beat my mm. flesh. No, mm. have the Bible says, have no confidence, confidence. in it. Therefore be wise, like mm. you said, put mm. those mm. things that you 
are putting in your life to make sure that there are boundaries. But from a woman's perspective, Mrs. Lukwago, just before we go for a break, mm. you touched something earlier. Mm. Um, value, when you see yourself with value, mm. boundaries come naturally. Yes. Can you just elaborate on that before we go for a quick break? Yeah, they become natural, but still we are going to the other point of falling in love. Mm -hmm. Why I love going back? Because it makes me. Mm -hmm. Whenever things are becoming hard, mm -hmm. you fall in love, or you're in love all, all the time with God, mm -hmm. it will help you. Mm -hmm. So the boundaries you need to, to talk about, or we need to place in, mm -hmm. like we talked about accountability, mm -hmm. but also finding who you are, that will help you to set a value. Mm -hmm. Who do you look up to? Mm -hmm. For example, one time I was talking earlier on about the young man mm -hmm. who was encouraging a friend. And for him, Apostle Grace is the line. Mm. Like, why would you get in a relationship when you don't have a church, mm -hmm. when you don't have a job, when you're not driving, mm -hmm. when you're just 20, get married at 35, you know, all that. Mm -hmm. But mainly because that helps him to set his targets mm -hmm. or values. And at the end of the day, when you continue doing that, mm -hmm and still have the intimacy with mm -hmm. God, that will help you to see that your values are met and you'll mm -hmm. find the right partner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that's beautiful, that's beautiful. And I'd love to hear Mrs. Harrison as well on that matter, mm -hmm. you know, boundaries, but based on value, mm -hmm. vision. In just two, three minutes, what would you say? Because this is a place many people get stuck around. Yeah. What would you say? Yeah, we still, you know, as believers, um, I would still want to hold on to what's your relationship like. Then when it comes to value, God has called you um, a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. When you see yourself, um, ask yourself, it's a, a princess, will she mess up herself before marriage? Mm of a kingdom. Mm. She has the king, the queen. They have a particular way they live. They value, mm. you know. They, so there is this boundaries that is put around us. It's the, basically the word of God. Mm. So once the word of God is inside of you, mm. you know what Christ mm -hmm. demands of you, what mm -hmm. God demands of you as a believer mm. or as a young um, 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 a lady out there mm. or as a young man out there, what does the word say mm. about your lifestyle? What does the word say mm. about your living? Mm. Or what does the word say before marriage? The Bible says flee from sexual immorality mm. from sin. So if the word of God says so and you're in love with the word mm. and God is love, mm. will you now turn your back on mm what the word says. Mm. So I believe the, the boundary there should basically be, I'm in love with God. Once you're in love with God, it keeps you from mm. every, it causes you to flee from mm. all these things. Mm. So even when it comes, that flesh comes, you know, to try you in this place, mm. it reminds you of who you are. Mm. You're a light. You're not supposed to fall into that. So mm. when you see such, mm. you just know in, within you mm. that this is not who I am. Mm -hmm. Remember who you are, mm. whose child mm. you are. Mm. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. No, thank you. Thank Amen. you. And, and you've also reminded me, actually, of a place where the Bible says, guard your heart. Mm. You know, your heart, everything from the issues of life flow from your heart. Mm. You know, when you're in, because there is a place for boundaries mm. within dating, but mm. there's also that bloodline many people experience mm. where they are not actually sure if they're in a relationship or not. Mm. But as you've said, when you understand that God has given you such value, would mm. a princess, mm. you know, do certain things mm. because you are a queen to a queen gentleman's to kingdom. Yes. And, and at the end of the day, if he has not come forward, I love what you shared about you took that step to say, no, I need to mm. define this. Mm. It's right for me to do so. Mm -hmm. um, ladies and gentlemen at home, if you're in that middle gray line of you're not sure if you're in or not in a relationship, gentlemen, if you've prayed about it, take that step to define. If it is not something that you want, the Bible says, treat younger women as sisters, mm. sisters. Mm. older women as mm. mothers. Mm. You know, 
gentlemen, especially when you know, you know that this woman is also valued by God, if you have not defined that line or not subjected it to spiritual authorities, take a step back. Women, if you're in that <laughs> bloodline and he has not publicly introduced you, yeah. don't assume you're in the relationship. Mm -hmm. and, and therein we'll go deeper into, you know, guarding your heart in that matter because mm -hmm. a lot of people get stuck therein. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you have value and you are precious. You are God's husbandry. You mm -hmm. are his. He is your spirit. Mm. You are his beloved. That's mm. the one I was looking for. Mm. So we're going to go for another break. I know you're enjoying this conversation. If, you, Like I said, if you know someone that's going to be blessed by this, mm. please mm. share the link with them. But we will be right back after the break. Stay mm. tuned. <laughs> God has prepared for you. They are deep, they are bottomless. It means as deep as you're ready to go, He's available to launch you. Come on, live for something bigger. Live for something bigger than being a, just a good wife. Live for something bigger than just being a good daughter. Live for something bigger than just being a businesswoman. Live for something better than just being a good mother. This is a new breed of women. God can bless you and speak into a thousand generations to come. The moment your child is born on the earth, there's a blessing that has spoken to them, enveloped them, encapsulated them. Why? Because there was something God spoke to you one Thursday evening before that boy was born. Live for something bigger. Transformed by Grace. My Great Price Conference Season 5. 17th June 2023 at the Kololo Independence Ground. Invite 10 women. Venero, make manifest. It's not about a place that has all the luxury. It's about a place where you can create memories. It's about a place where you can blend your work with a holiday. It's not about having the most luxurious rooms. It's about having a sense of space. It's not about the best chefs. It's about cuisine that transforms your mood. You love catching up with friends, and we are all about enjoying those special moments. At the Skies Hotel, we have set the stage for unforgettable moments, so that when you leave, you will have a special story to tell. Praise the Lord. Welcome back. You are watching the Women of Faith show and this is our last segment where we are talking about dating. I want to remind you ladies at home that on the 17th of June we have the Migrate Price Conference with the man of God, Apostle Grace Lubega at Kololo Independence Grounds. Gates open at 12. And if you've been blessed by what we have shared, just know that day we are going to go deeper. God is going to do something so mighty. So, we have been talking about dating. We've, we've shared a lot. Um, but in this final segment, I want us to just touch on and, and you advise uh, the women and men at home. How does someone handle a relationship that maybe didn't come out the way they expected? For example, you've said dating is two people coming to a place of agreement to see if their two destinies have, are aligned. Um, in the instance where when they are dating, red flags have shown and it has not worked, how, does, how do you speak to someone, um, Mrs. Lukwago, 
from a place where the relationship hasn't worked? It's not failure, but it hasn't worked. What, what would you say in that lane? Thank you, Pastor Posha. Mm. Um, I think my still best encouragement would be falling in love with God mm. because he will never reject us. Mm. He loves us. Mm. He's everything. And when we get that point that he's our everything, mm. then that gives us a light that this is not a rejection. Mm. Maybe he has a better way. Mm. He's bringing me something way better than this. Mm. So instead, you just embrace it and love your brother as a brother. Mm -hmm. And I think that will still help you to go back in your closet and you ask yourself, mm. uh, did I really hear? Mm. Did God lead me into this? Um, what is my take in this? Mm. What is my purpose? Mm -hmm. All those questions come. Mm -hmm. And when they come in your closet, the Holy Spirit will start enlightening everything. Mm. That you know what? Your purpose was not to align with that gentleman mm. because he's not your rib. Mm. You, you need this and this and this and this and this. Mm. I have seen that work in my life mm. because my time, it was not about getting married, as I said. Mm. It was about ministry. Mm. Me with God, that is all I needed. Mm. And I needed someone who knows what he really wants. Mm. And when you get to know that, that is the value as we talked about earlier on. That when you get to know that, that pushes you also to focus on what you want. Mm. People out there love your God and focus on your God. Mm -hmm. That rejection will not come. Mm. You feel that rejection because the devil has cast fear on you, mm. saying that you're not enough, you're what? Mm. So many things arise. Maybe your friends are asking mm. you, maybe what? Maybe uh, it is a, a brother to your friend mm. who was like trying to say, and that rejection mm. came in. Mm -hmm. But that is work of the enemy mm. because he wants to put your esteem low, mm. your esteem down. You will not get married. You're not good enough. Then after that, you keep on chasing other people, which is not right. Mm. You keep your position by seeking God. Mm. And that rejection will not be there. Mm. And mainly when you have accountability partner, as we talked about. Mm. And right now I want to emphasize parents. Mm. Parents, parents, parents. Please be there for your children. Your children, mm. especially children begin, let's say at the age of 14, 15, 16. Mm. You find a boy 16, he wants to date. But you just judge mm. and you say, why is he dating? What is this? You those girls, what? No, the body is burning. Mm. Sit down your children. Mm -hmm. Talk to them. Mm. Be a best friend. Because as a mother who knows Christ, who has a relationship mm. in your closet, mm. the Lord will help you to, to understand your children. That, you know, you see, your son is... is, uh, is having a problem here. Your daughter is having a problem here. Mm. And you will, he'll give you wise counsel mm. to sit them down. Mm. Me, I do that. I enjoy that. Mm -hmm. And they are like, oh, mommy, that is good. Mm. And after that, you go in your closet, you pray for them. Mm. The other day, I also was talking about mm. where a parent must wake up in the night, mm. lay hands, mm. and pray for them, mm. pray for them, mm -hmm. pray for them. And that is how you mm. create value into their lives. Mm. That's how they will have, how do we call it, trust issues, mm. that I love my mother, I love my father, I love my guardian, that they are there for me. Mm. But the young people are seeking out for help because of those rejections mm. to some wrong people who don't know God, who don't understand who God is, mm. who will help them. Mm. But you as a superior, when you help them out and you talk to them mm. and you say, you know what? Like one time I talked to my son because he was asking me, what is the right time to get married? Mm. I really didn't have an answer at that time, but I had to question the Holy Spirit. Please help me mm. on how to speak this. Mm. And I told him the right time is go to school, mm. finish school, go to work mm. as you're working, mm you will find the right time. Mm. Why was I bringing all that? Because I knew 
the way I'm raising them, they are into God. Mm -hmm. By the time he's finishing school, another episode is coming in, mm -hmm. but his intimacy is closed. Mm -hmm. So every episode that comes in, the Lord has a way he will lead you, mm -hmm. but it comes with parents. Mm -hmm. We always, as parents, we leave children, mm -hmm. maybe to teachers, mm -hmm. to the neighbors, mm -hmm. to TV, but we are responsible. Mm -hmm. We are responsible and whenever you find someone who is rejected, please, I always hug. Mm. Get that person, put them in your bosom, hug them and tell them, I purely understand. Put yourself in their states mm. and you're like, I purely understand. The Lord will immediately give you, maybe could be a conversation. Mm. Sometimes people could think that maybe you're lying, you're not lying. Mm. You're trying to create something that will comfort them, mm. that you're not alone. Mm. We are going to walk this journey and you will overcome. I've seen that happen. Mm. I've helped people out mm. because of that welcome, that mm. warmness, that mm. what? And rejection is no more. Mm. And they mm. still believe in themselves. They're seeing God working mm. in their lives. Some have gotten mm. married to their right pa mm. uh, partners, but originally mm. they were in the wrong mm. places. Mm. And I think that works. That's important. That's really, really important. And love your call to parents to take an interest in your children. Don't be quick to judge, but quick to understand them where they are. Obviously, as you know, as elders, as as people you've you've dated, you've been there, you've been teenage years, you've been in university, you know, kids, your parents have actually been through everything you're going through. So don't think they don't know. They know. And God has placed them in your lives to help guide you through. Um now my next question, and I think it collects from this place, what would you say to a woman or a man that finds themselves in a relationship they thought it was going to marriage, but red flags, you know, the seven guiding lights. I'm so glad you kept bringing that up because our father gave us those seven guiding lights, you know, of the spirit. What that person doesn't want to get out of the relationship because they feel like what it called us failure. What would you say to that person that, that finds themselves there and, you know, they've said, no, this, this, this can't work. What do I do? Do I stay? Do I go? All right, um, speaking to you out there, for me, the counsel, what I will have for you today to let you know is that um, God has a very better plan for you more than what you are going through now. Yeah, and um, uh, God called you beautiful as mm. a woman. He called you beautiful. He calls you his own mm. and uh, he's your God. So the first thing what you should do is for you to look at the yourself and tell yourself how beautiful you are. Mm. I am not rejected and I am not what the world says. Because the Bible has, you know, given you a reference for you to hold on to. It said, do not conform to the dictate of the world. Mm. If that person is not of God, then mm. he's of the world. So if, if, if uh, um, the, the marriage or the relationship has not worked, then that means that's not God's plan for you. So um, mm. and my encouragement for you today is for you to love yourself. Mm. Love yourself as you are. You're very beautiful. That's not the best. God has a very best for you. And that mm. best is that very man that God has proposed for you. Mm. He's preparing that very man for you to run the journey. But first of all, you have to love yourself. Love mm. yourself. Mm. Understand who you are in Christ. Once you know who you are in Christ, and you begin to walk in that truth mm. because it's a place where you have known the truth. The Bible says, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free mm. because it's in the freedom of that truth then you are aligned because mm. once you have not known the truth of who you are, who God has called you to be, you're a royal priesthood. Mm. You are not supposed to be messed around. You're a princess. Mm. Uh, you're not supposed to be trampled on. Mm. And if somebody has dished you or you've been in a, rush, a relationship or a culture or a dating for one, two, three, anything that goes beyond three, four, five months, you, you get out of it. <laughs> it's a place whereby you know that you get to understand this is not my place. Mm. So find your place. But to find your place is a place where you go back to your father. You fall mm. back to his arm. Let, it, let him embrace you. And in a place where he's embracing you, mm. you find the one that is supposed to find you. He'll come and find you. Mm. I am a living testimony of that. Mm. Not I, I, you, it's a place whereby you know that you 
can't be rejected from what God has called you into. Mm. If God never rejected you, he said, even the Bible says that, why we were yet seen as Christ died for us. So if I'm, so it's not about what I've done. Mm. It's not about who I am. Mm. It's about what God has said. Mm. And what he has said is what must surely come to pass. Mm. If he said, you will not lack your mate. Sister out there, you can't lack your mate. Mm. Your husband is out there. It's mm. a place whereby you get to, back to God. Mm. If you have lost it, wherever you missed it, you need God to show you back that this is where I missed it and I've returned back to you, God. Mm. Let God marry you. Let him pour love on you mm. and show you that you are beautiful. No more ashes, mm. no more sorrow, mm. no more shame. Mm. It's a place about fall in love with mm. most especially the word of God mm. because that is where God is. Mm. Once you get acquainted with what God says about you, your life, your future, and the vision and that he has for you. Every other thing don't really matter. Mm -hmm. When they come, the Bible says that the Lord will raise a standard against mm -hmm. it. So when those words keep projecting, they come to make you feel you're a loser. People out there are getting married, even younger age. You know, mm -hmm. Pastor Portia, mm -hmm. you see somebody of 40, 45 years, mm -hmm. is not married, but she's beautiful. You have everything. Mm -hmm. And a girl of 19 in their family is, is, is being proposed to. Mm -hmm. And you're asking yourself, what's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Mm -hmm. There is nothing wrong with you, but there is somebody that God is preparing for you. Amen. You just hold on to God. Trust God mm -hmm. that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above what you can think or imagine. That's why he said, renew your mind. Get your mind renewed. Mm -hmm. Know that you are of God. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Powerful. Oh. That's very powerful. <laughs> Mr. That's... Rabose, the same to, to the men maybe out there that have either been hurt in a relationship or been, like you said, rejected. What would you say to the men? You know, as you're speaking of rejection, mm. uh, I realized you just have to go on social media these days mm. and you'll see clips with thousands of views mm -hmm. of men who are left on one knee, you know, <laughs> and left with the and ring. Slapped. You know, <laughs> in Uganda, we had someone who tried to propose, you know, in the middle of the street. Mm. And it's now documented forever on social media that, mm -hmm. you know, he was, was left with his flowers and oh, his no. ring. Mm. So I think. Even the gentlemen out there, they are familiar with this. Some are actually scared. Mm. Some are actually scared of making that next step mm. and committing, mm. you know, to this lady who they are dating mm. because they are wondering, what if I'm rejected? What mm. if her family does not accept me? What if, you know, et cetera, et cetera, they may give reasons. Mm. But I think you've mentioned it for the ladies. Mm. It goes the same for men. Mm. It really goes the same for the men out there, for the boys out there. Mm. Identify with who you are. Mm. Identify with who you are in mm. God. Mm. And understand that, yes, she may have left you on one knee with mm -hmm. your flowers and your ring, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. none shall lack their mate. Their mate. Not mm. a mate, but mm -hmm. their, mate. their mate. That means there's a lady out there. Maybe you are misled. Maybe you are looking for a certain height, a certain shape, mm -hmm. you know, and you're not looking at a helper suitable for mm -hmm. the purpose and vision God has mm -hmm. given you. Mm -hmm. So just dust yourself off mm -hmm. as a man mm -hmm. and then God is going to bring that person mm -hmm. to you. And it reminded me of, uh, and this goes both to ladies out there and young men out there, mm -hmm. the place of when you mentioned parenting mm -hmm. and how rejection can be handled mm -hmm. based on, parenting is not just biological parents. Mm. Some of us has not raised mm. uh, with my mm. father. He passed mm. when I was two years old. Mm. But I've been blessed to have, uh, I have an amazing older brother. I have uncles. Mm. We have had uh, our father, Apostle Grace Rebecca, mm. who, like through Men Gather, mm. have taught us so much that has redeemed time mm. and amplified that voice of who we are, a father's yeah. heart. Yeah. And that's very important for men. Because mm -hmm. truth be told, we thank God for such shows mm. where young ladies and, and uh, young women are really taught mm -hmm. on how to veil themselves mm -hmm. and how to handle mm -hmm. rejection and weight. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to young men out there and mm -hmm. some boys, they have not been guided mm -hmm. by mm -hmm. older men. Mm -hmm. So actually they pick it True. that when, when you're male mm -hmm. side or you see it's going nowhere and you step mm -hmm. aside, mm -hmm. you've highlighted it very well. Mm -hmm. Your 
mate is there mm. and you're definitely going to find purpose. Yes. And again, for the gentleman, mm. I guarantee you, you do not want to end up married to the wrong person. Mm. Mm. Wrong What's person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or even at the wrong time. Mm. Sometimes it's a matter of time. You've not mm. found yourself yet. Mm. You have no vision. You know, mm. maybe you're even still in your mm. parents' home and living under the dictates. <laughs> Apostle Grace taught us the second uh, sermon of Fanero mm-hmm. when the ministry started. I'm not a son of terror. Mm-hmm. And he mentioned the clear instruction God gave Abraham mm-hmm. was to come out mm-hmm. of his father. Mm-hmm. And he has reiterated this in Men Gather. Mm-hmm. There's a place where as a man, you must come mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. So maybe you've been rejected because mm-hmm. you're still under. under. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, even in terms of mindset or vision. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So take that as a learning, mm. you know, a learning curve, mm-hmm. you know, and yeah. work on yourself. Mm. That's what I would say, Pastor Portia. Wow, 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 yeah. wow. Powerful. I know, ladies and gentlemen, you're learning a lot. A lot's being realigned uh, during this talk show. And, and because, you know, we're coming to the end of our session, but there's just one place I want us to touch briefly before we, before we close. And that's the place of if you've been in a relationship and maybe, you know, you've either been hurt or you've been abused, or, or you've maybe gone too far. And, and you know, there's, there's that fear of judgment to tell people or to seek counsel from older mm. women to mm. know what mm. to do. Mm. But I want to tell you first and foremost that in Christ there is no mm. condemnation. condemnation. If you have had a relationship and maybe something happened, don't leave the presence. God is there with you. He does not condemn you. You are still his His own. His plans for you are still to prosper. They have not Mm. changed. Mm -mm. Whether, you know, you've had children out of wedlock and you've had them earlier than you expected, God still has a plan for your life. It's not done, you know. Um, And society can paint a very different picture, but I want to tell you that God still holds you valuable. Mm. Um, and just in, you know, those closing, uh, before we go to closing remarks, Mrs. Lukwago, what would you say to the woman that has maybe found uh, she was abused in a relationship in order for her to come into a new relationship that God has called for her? Um, what would you tell her to be able to heal from that process? Just briefly. Uh, still to love God, mm. to keep in the presence, to have people around she prays with that accountability part Mm. that you know when your heart most cases we are thinking in the soulish realm Mm. it is not easy for us to get to a higher level because our eyes physically see and they report that you rejected your heart Mm. but if you have someone around you you're praying with at that particular moment they will lift you up Mm. as the bible says that be your brother's keeper Mm. You come to her, you come to me, you're like, let's pray. Let's believe God. Mm. And with that, we don't know how the journey, how it is going to end. Mm. But I know with God, all things are beautiful. Mm -hmm. They are beautiful. Mm. And there are many lessons to learn from that point. We always look from a point of like, I am hurt. Mm. He left me. I thought it was going to be this. But the point is, what are we learning out of that? Was it you in a hurry? Mm. Was it him in a hurry? Mm. Did you consult God? Mm. How did you move? How did you prepare yourself? Because as the fruit of the Spirit is important. Mm. When we keep in the Word, because the Word is God himself. Mm. When he tells you that the fruit of the Spirit, because when you begin from verse 17, he's talking about the flesh, Mm. how it does and everything. Mm. But in the 22, he's saying, uh, about patience, about mercy, yes. long suffering, all that. Mm. And the more you learn that, maybe you'll discover that maybe I was not ready. Mm. Uh, am I long mm. suffering? Mm. Because mm. when you have mm. the accountability partner, let me say, or even the families we've gone from, like you see a mother, she has really endured. Mm. But are you able to endure? Mm. You ask yourself that and you can answer yourself, but you know what? It was good for me to maybe this guy to go. Mm. Because when I look into things, mm. the way they are right now, I think I would not manage. So we have to embrace the rejections also. Mm. We have to embrace them. Mm. From a point of what am I learning from this? Mm. 
that should be the key point. Mm. When you, we find that, and the Holy Spirit will be able to tell us or to tell you that this and this and this and this mm. is the topic out of this. Because he says in, is it Hebrews 13, 5, that I'll never leave you mm -hmm. nor forsake you. Mm. So if he'll never leave us, mm. even in that rejection, he is there. Mm. But he's teaching us something. Uh, Papa was teaching about quietness, mm. your spirit. Mm. Quiet your spirit. Quiet your spirit, mm. quiet your spirit, mm. quiet your spirit and ask mm. why, mm. why is it happening? Mm. Lord, talk to me. Mm. Then some people are not willing to, are you ready to surrender your will mm. to a man? Mm. Because women right now, we suffer in that. Women in my special and everything. Mm. So you find that really, am I ready to submit my will mm. to a man to lead me? And maybe according when he was looking mm. out for someone to marry, he realized that mm. you can't submit your will. Mm. And maybe that happened. Mm. But we need to embrace. Mm. Amen. Yeah. I love every time you got Mrs. Lukwago, it's first and foremost, love, love. your God. God. It is the foundation. And for a man or woman at home, if you have been in a relationship and you have been hurt, or you have maybe been abused, or you felt used, allow God, go back to that place mm. with God where he shows you your intrinsic value. He shows you who you are to him mm. and allow him work on you because we have seen many experiences where you've been hurt in a relationship and you carry that mm. forward into future relationships that God has actually you know, prepared for you. But allow that time for God to heal you for, for any of those hearts to be dealt with so that when your king comes, you can love him as God has desired for you to love him. But because we are out of time, I want us to briefly, in, in one minute each, we've discussed a lot. What would you say to the man or woman at home uh, as a result of this show, starting with the gentleman? Yes, Mr. Rabose. <laughs> Not the lady we first. The, we'll go gentlemen, then we'll come to ladies. <laughs> okay, I think... Uh, uh, Pastor Porsche, mm. my closing remarks to the gentleman out there is marriage, like the scripture says, is not to be entered into lightly. Mm. So you must ask yourself, Christ has told us in the scriptures that husbands have been instructed. What he gives us is you must love your wives like Christ has loved the church. Mm. So as you go into dating, actually point one should be understand that dating is meant to lead into marriage, mm. the commitment of marriage. Mm. If you're not ready to make that commitment, then don't. Mm. But also understand that when we speak of marriage, mm. you're getting into a sacred covenant, which is a reflection of Christ's relationship with the church. Mm. So are you ready? Are you ready to love that lady mm. like Christ loved the church? Mm. And if you're not, it's okay. It's okay, like Paul said, not everyone has to get married like all your peers are getting married but there's a responsibility it comes with mm. because she's coming to help. Mm. But ask yourself, what is she going mm. to help? Mm. And if you don't have that vision yet, work on it mm. so that you don't enter this institution lightly mm. under the pretext of dating. Mm. Mm. That's uh, what I would say, Pastor Portia. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Mrs. Mm. Harrison, in one minute, mm. your, your closing remark. All right, my closing remark to the ladies out there is that... Um, hold on to God's promises. God has a good plan for you. And uh, the plan, he said, is good, mm. not evil. It takes you to your expected end. So now I'll ask you what's your expected end. If you want to get married, then first thing first is for you to know who you are. Once you know who you are, then when this man comes to find mm. you, he finds a good thing. The Bible mm. says, he that finds a wife finds a good thing. Thing. Mm. So once you have known who you are, you stay in the place of relationship mm. with God. God will show you through the help of the Holy Spirit mm. everything that you need to know. Amen. Because there are things that every woman needs to know. Mm. And since you are you are brought out of that very man's mm. rib, mm. when you when he finds you you will be connected mm. once you have allowed God to pour everything Amen. of God inside of you. Amen. 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 And in one minute, Mrs. Lukwago, I your think, closing remark. Okay. <laughs> uh, still, we need to know that Jesus loves us. Mm. By the time he 
by the time he came onto the cross, it was his love that brought him. And whenever that is settled in your heart, in your spirit, uh, that will help you to move. That the time of dating will come because you'll be ready because of this love you have with Christ. So I encourage every woman there, every gentleman there, that before you fall in love with any other human being, fall in love with your God. Have your daily devotions. Have your summons. Do all the principles. And with that, the Holy Spirit will guide you into the right thing to do. And you'll find peace. Amen, amen. Amen. And I want to say thank you on behalf of all the viewers at home. Thank you for sharing with us. Thank you for being with us today. It's been such a blessing. And men and women at home, like Mrs. Lukwagos put it, learn to love your God. Mm. Be loved by him mm. and love him. Things will follow. Oh, okay. So yeah. with that, I want to remind you that if you've been blessed by this conversation, on the 17th of June, we are together at the Kololo Independence Grounds with the man of God, Apostle Grace Lubega, for the Migrate Prize Conference. Mm. It is free. Gets open at midday. Bring at least one lady with you. God is going to do something that day. Amen. And I want to just quickly thank the Protea Hotel Skies Kampala for hosting us Amen. for these talk shows Amen. and Manifest TV for allowing us be on Ooh. air. With that, I will say until next time, good night. TV Christ Revealed It's not about a place that has all the luxury. It's about a place where you can create memories. It's about a place where you can blend your work with a holiday. It's not about having the most luxurious rooms. It's about having a sense of space. It's not about the best chefs. It's about cuisine that transforms your mood. You love catching up with friends, and we are all about enjoying those special moments. At the Skies Hotel, we have set the stage for unforgettable moments so that when you leave, you will have a special story to tell. prepared for you. They are deep, they are bottomless. It means as deep as you're ready to go, he's available to launch you. Come on, live for something bigger. Live for something bigger than being a, just a good wife. Live for something bigger than just being a good daughter. Live for something bigger than just being a businesswoman. Live for something better than just being a good mother. This is a new breed of women. God can bless you and speak into a thousand generations to come. The moment your child is born on the earth, there's a blessing that has spoken to them, enveloped them, encapsulated them. Why? Because there was something God spoke to you one Thursday evening before that boy was born. Live for something bigger. Transformed by grace. My Great Price Conference Season 5. 17th June 2023 at the Kololo Independence Ground. In